So what's up people and welcome back to my Skyrim mod adventure. I think this is the 18th one. And so yeah, we're up here in Winterhold. And the reason we're up here in Winterhold is, uh, yeah, I've been uh, tweaking around with my mods, mostly with the load order. And uh, what I found is that once I tweaked around with it, yeah, the icicles finally got to work. Yeah, and so it turned out that the load order uh, somewhere along the way may have gotten screwed up. And so I used the Vortex's internal uh, sorting method that uses the loot uh, methodology. I'm having a hard time uh, seeing, <laughs> seeing these icicles. It's probably because it's a cloudy day. This is a night, I don't think. Uh, this is just that it's a cloudy day. Look! At least it's not uh, completely dark. So this should help. Okay, so it's not midday or anything like that, but it's helping a little bit, definitely. Yeah, you can see that the icicles are a lot more transparent now. Or translucent, I don't know which is the best way to say it. And you can see it as, it's not as white as it was before. Which I always found to be really ugly. Yeah. Now these are looking a lot nicer now. I never was uh, happy with the shape. And I think the earlier versions of this Icicle mod actually made them really thin. Which looked really nice, but uh... I don't know, maybe people complained about it, and so they brought it back to, uh... Oh. Yeah, my mouse is still having some problems. I ordered a new mouse, so once I get that, it should go away. I'm having some, uh, problems with the, uh, scroll wheel. Oh, wow, look at the day! Oh, my gosh, it looks beautiful out here. Wow. Yeah, I'm starting to really like how this is starting to look. Yeah, anyway, that's all I wanted to <laughs> show. That's the only reason I'm up here in Winterhold. Uh, we gotta get to Whiterun because of the fact that uh, we need to uh, see the Yarl of Whiterun. Yep, yep, icicles are looking better. Good, good. So uh, I think the load order uh, sorting. Oh. <laughs> uh, isn't that chorus cute looking when it's uh, <laughs> cuddling around there? Anyway, let me do my uh, a little bit more uh, immersive version of traveling. I'll do my fast travel down to here. Uh, Windhelm, and then from Windhelm, I'll take the coach to White. I sound like I'm traveling. I'm actually traveling. Oh, it's really uh, snowing. Need a ride? I can take you to any of the hold capitals. Where do you want to go? Climbing back, and we'll be off. Okay, here we go. Better bundle up. This may keep up for a while. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow! It's looking really nice. I'm definitely getting to the point where uh, I'm really now just enjoying just looking at the sky and stuff. Hmm? Let me just uh, hey, sell a few things here. Made a few potions, so I want to get rid of them.
Where is it? Where is it? Oh, let's make more resist fire and my uh, alchemy has gotten better so I should be able to make better potions now. Okay. May your road lead you to warm sand. Yeah, sorry about that. Whenever uh, that Khajiit is there, always tend to want to buy gold gems from it. Oh, this place is looking really nice now. Okay, well, we gotta see the Yarrow, but it's too late, so let me uh, let this guy crash. Dragonborn still needs to sleep sometime. And uh, we could go right away in the morning. Not sure if he'll be there in court this early. Okay, I think we're okay. Nice. <laughs> Sorry, I'm starting to get mesmerized by this game. I guess the mods are working. Divines bless you. May the ground you walk quake as you pass. <laughs> okay, thank you. May the gods watch over your battles, friend. Uh, I must have misheard you. I thought you asked me to help you trap a dragon in my palace. Of course, you already saved White Run from that dragon. I owe you a great deal. But I don't understand. Why let a dragon into the heart of my city? when we've been working so hard to keep them out. All do it. The world eater himself. But how can we fight him? Doesn't his return mean it's the end times?
I didn't say anything about giving up. Now what's this nonsense about trapping a dragon in my palace? I want to help you, Dragonborn. And I will. But I need your help first. Ulfric and General Tullius are both just waiting for me to make a wrong move. Do you think they will sit idle while the dragon is slaughtering my men and burning my city? No. I can't risk weakening the city while we are under the threat of enemy attack. I'm sorry. Then I would be glad to help you with your mad dragon trapping scheme, but getting both sides to agree to a truce will be difficult at this point. The bitterness has gone too deep. Maybe. Hmm. What of the Greybeards? They are respected by all Nords. High Hrothgar is neutral territory. If the Greybeards were willing to host a peace council, then maybe Ulfric and Tullius would have to listen. Aye, Dragonborn. Maybe you can stop the dragons. And this war into the bargain. Okay, I guess we have to go up back up to High Rothgar again. <laughs> now, if you don't mind, I've got a city to keep. Whoa! It seems our enemies have no end of spies. Can't remember, but my gosh, you've gotten a glow up. What is it that you need? Yeah, I guess the vision mods are working. My gosh, you look a lot better than you used to. Make a move for Balra. <laughs> Okay, anyway, let me buy some more uh, soul gems. Divine smile. Take a look. Remember, your mind is the best weapon you have. Thank you. That's kind of scary though, my mind is pretty feeble. I hope my uh, bowl is better than my mind. Okay, so I think this is a good place to stop and uh, install a couple of mods and then uh, we could start it up again and go up to High Hrothgar. So let me do that and then uh, we'll come back and continue on with this uh, adventure. Yeah, okay. Okay, so for this episode, I want to upload two mods I was interested in. But before I uh, talk about those, I just wanted to mention that, uh, yeah, Vortex, which is that little mod managing software that manages all of the mods, it gave me a message and a warning that I needed to upload Body Slide and Outfit Studio mod. Now, I'm not exactly sure what this does with with the exception of if I go with the title, I presume that it adds more body slide control to your character when you're generating it. I'm not sure what the outfit studio part does, and I haven't really read up too much on it. But just recently, I received this message from Vortex that uh, I needed to upload this because one of my other mods required this as a prerequisite. So I've uploaded it. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure which mod it is, but I just wanted to mention it to you because I am keeping you aware of all of the uploads that I'm doing, even if it isn't one of my major choices. And it's one of these that's working in the background as a prerequisite to one of the other mods. Okay, so with that said, uh, let's move on to the ones that I really wanted to load up. Uh, the first one is called Better Water. And this is a mod for another mod. Yeah, it's better water for real water too. So if you remember, I uploaded a mod a while back called Real Water 2 that improved upon the vanilla water, you know, the river water and the lake water to something that's really nice. Now, Real Water 2 is a very popular mod, so a lot of people use it and many people know what it is. Uh, but the one thing I had issue with with real water too is even though it looked a lot nicer there was still a little bit of that gelatiny sort of feel due to the high amount of ripple that you saw especially in the river water and so i wanted to see if i could find something that will reduce the ripple and make the water seem a little bit more liquidy not as gelatiny as you see 
And so what it does, I guess, Better Water 2 does, or Better Water does, is exactly that. It reduces the ripples and makes the water feel a little bit more serene and more water-like. So I've never done one of these where you actually mod another mod, but I figured that I will put this in and see how this one goes. Now the other one which I really wanted to put on was this uh, Amidian Born Book of Silence. And this is a texture mod, and I'm not exactly sure why Amidian Born called it the Book of Silence. But uh, yeah, this is a texture mod that replaces very specific items in the game. Um, one of them is all those armor that standard warriors wear and the standard stuff that you have that you can make in the forge. Uh, it also replaces a few of the weapon textures and for all, for some, whatever reason it decided to uh, replace the textures for the draugers as well. It's kind of random that some of these monsters are also getting a mod. But I figured that, yeah, I mean, the Draugr's look hideous enough, so maybe if they could get a glow up as well, then uh, why don't we do that? And so I really am interested mostly for the armor. I hear that the armor works really well with this mod, uh, the standard armor. And the nice thing is, is since it replaces very specific things, it won't really clash with a lot of the other mods that I put in, which modify the textures for things like the miscellaneous items or the walls and the landscaping and stuff like that. This one doesn't touch any of that. It only really works for a few weapons, a lot of the armor, and a few of the monsters. So yeah, let's check this out and uh, see how this one goes. Okay, so we're back and let me tell you yeah, I really had a hard time uploading uh, the mods this time. Uh, for some reason, uh, Nexus wouldn't let me load up a medium born Book of Silence. It would just fail each time. I tried it a few times and it would fail each and every time. So I finally gave up on it. And I went to a cloud mod, a 3D cloud mod that I wanted to try out. And so I loaded it up, hoping that it would look nice, and it did look nice. Uh, the only problem was that, uh, yeah, uh, it would flicker. Every time I changed the look of the direction, it would flicker, and so I had to take it off. And I tried the medium born again, and it worked this time. So uh, we were right back to the beginning. And uh, now we can move on. Yeah, look at that. Oh, I'm not sure if I like that reflection. But the ripples, as you can see, are a lot less. It makes the water look more liquidy. Uh, not this gelatin, this uh, <laughs> high viscosity sort of stuff. And uh, wow, I like the flow. Yeah, this kind of... Uh, yeah, the, it looks a lot more liquid. I don't like the reflections. I wish the reflections were less. I mostly deal with petty thievery and drunken brawls. Been too long since you've had a good bandit raid. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I'm glad you told me that. Uh... Thanks again for helping me open the East Empire Company. I have them import me some of that aged Breton cheese. Oh, everybody knows that I helped out the East Empire Company. <laughs> oh, word gets around in Skyrim, I guess. Okay, uh, I don't know. What do you think about the water? I think the water looks better. I wish. Oh! To sell fruits and vegetables. It's fun most days. The security in White Run is terrible. Holy Shame crap! Is what it is. That's uh, that's the armor. That's the armor that the Amidia Boar replaced. What the heck are you saying? <laughs> I was trying to concentrate on the armor and that little girl was blabbing away. Okay, anyway. Let me check another armor. So, this guy should have the standard, uh, what is it, iron armor or whatever it is. 
Oh yeah, his has changed too. Welcome to War Maidens. Not only yeah. Name Warrior. We got plenty of steel for Yeah, he looks men. good. Yeah, this is good. And Mediaborn does did a nice job. Wow, it looks We've really got good. small weapons as well as big. Okay, thank Maces, you. Maces, daggers, that's You got better thing. looking weapons now, or armor now at least. Weapons, I think some of the axes and stuff like that have changed, especially the big war axes. Uh, but I don't uh, want to spend too much time. I think the uh, cloud mod changed the lighting in the game. I think it looks a little bit darker now. Oh, okay, that's what I need to do. Yeah, I think it looks a little bit darker now. I'm gonna have to tweak around with the Imaginator again. <laughs> Yeah, I took the cloud arm, uh, mod off, but, uh... Whoa, you're looking different, too. You look a lot darker now. I don't know if you're as much a glow-up as some of the, uh, uh, armor, but, uh... Yeah, sure, why not? Well, maybe it's okay. Maybe this is okay. It still looks nice. Oh, the water here looks pretty nice, too. I don't know if it's changed much here. It always looks nice uh, in that area. Well, I don't mind this. This actually looks pretty good. Maybe it's just a cloudy day. Maybe it's just gradually going cloudy. And that's why I, I feel that way. Overall, uh, yeah, it looks good. You know, I really am starting to like how this game is looking. But hopefully we could continue to improve with more mods. Okay, so we need to go see uh, the Greybeards. Oh, look at that! That's the thing. That's my pet, I guess, for the moment. Oh yeah! Now for certain really wintry days, there seems to be this black wind, which usually means that one of my mods is conflicting with another one of my mods. And because of that, they can't make a decision on what color, and so it gives me black. So I'm gonna have to figure it out, but it's only for a certain weather, certain wind. So it doesn't always happen, so I don't know if I'll be able to fix it that easy. Sky, got you. You misunderstand our authority. The Greybeards have never involved themselves in political affairs. I see. The dragon will lead you to Alduin, but without the Jarl's help. Parthenax has made the decision to help you. This is the road we have to walk. Even the Greybeards must bend to the winds of change, it seems. So be it. Tell Ulfric and General Tullius that the Greybeards wish to speak to them. We will see if they still remember us. Okay. So now we have to go back down Deliver to... Deliver the message to the warring parties. If they will listen, I will do what I can to bring them to terms. Okay, good, Breath good. And force. Now back to Windhelm <laughs> and then off to Solitude. We're just traveling everywhere. Yeah. That what yeah, that wind. That wind is uh, kind of irritating. But it only happens once in a while, so I don't I I'm gonna have to figure it out. Maybe once again it's load order. I have. Wow. Well, the wind helm is looking pretty nice too. Sure, 
times a day, certain cities look really nice. I think Windhelm looks really nice right now with this lighting. You hear that? I swear there's something out there. In the dark. I don't hear much of anything. about you and honeyed words. There's a true norm. We'll come around. Don't be so sure of that. We've intercepted couriers from Solitude. The Empire's putting a great deal of pressure on White Run. And what would you have me do? If he's not with us, he's against us. He knows that. They all know that. What the heck is this guy doing? He's showing his butt to us? I think I need to send Bolgraf a stronger message. <laughs> I better not say Only the foolish or the courageous approach a Yarl without summons. Do I know you? Ah, yes. Destined for the chopping block, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, I don't want this. As you can see, I have much that requires my attention. If you're inclined to gap, there are some nice prison guys you may like to meet. This guy's a load of fun. It's about time they turn their gaze from the heavens back to our bleeding homeland. What do they want? I have the greatest respect for the Greybeards, of course. And the dragon attacks are a growing plague. But the political situation is still delicate. Not all the Jarls are fully committed to supporting me as High King. I can't afford to appear weak. I can't agree to this unless Tullius himself will be there. Alduin, the world eater of song and legend. If that's true, well, it changes the situation, doesn't it? Even Tullius may be forced to talk sense in the face of such a threat. Yes, I'll give Tullius one more chance to quit Skyrim with his tail between his legs. So no, he's a lot more reasonable than I then. originally thought. <laughs> I still say you should take them all out like you did that King Torik. Torik was merely a messenger. Why sure is that... Is that a Zora star? How did you come oh. to possess <laughs> such a rare treasure? Yeah, I was doing the Azura quest a while back. I always liked Azura just because she was the main, uh, you know, Diedrich Lord that you interacted with in Morrowind. And Morrowind was my favorite Elder Scrolls game. Although I think Skyrim is now. What is it? I'm not sure. I mean, Skyrim has the graphics and the mods, and it's just absolutely amazing with Morrowind and hold a candle to it. That one was such a great game. It was the first one to, me, to have this wonderful 3D sort of uh, environment. Need a ride? Yep. Where do you want to go? Oh, no. do <laughs> something. <laughs> Uh, 
soul trap of dragon. Wow, even the horses ganged up on this poor dragon. <laughs> Where do you want to go? Climb and back and we'll be off. Couldn't ask for better weather. <laughs> yeah, couldn't ask for better weather. It's raining dragons from the sky. Talk about an easygoing dude. Okay, so, off to see Kelly's. Solitude is uh, definitely a beautiful city. Just even walking up to it is really nice. Oh, somebody left the toilet. Okay, so Tullius. Where's Tullius? Oh wait, <laughs> I'm going the wrong way. It's not at the blue palace. He's at the. Uh, he's here. Don't think you can bother with me like one old fam. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. He's here. How can I help a brother new and save your life? Famous boy. So he's from the empire. Actually, not a royal the winking skeeve has got warm beds and cold mead. You look like you could use both. Who's talking to you? Oh! <laughs> yes, you know, <laughs> murdered the High King. Planning an attack on White Hunt. She'd be insane to try. He doesn't have the men. That's not what my scouts report, sir. Every day more join his cause. Riften, Dawnstar, and Winterhold support him. It's not a cause. It's a rebellion. Call it whatever you Are my men now Man's giving free reign to, to anyone who wanders into the castle? Do you have some reason to be here, citizen? Right. Helgen. One of the prisoners, if I recall correctly. Jarl Balgruf. Hmm, there's something I can do for you? Perhaps direct you to the nearest prison? Oh, you said the same thing as, uh... The Greybeards. What do those old hermits want with me? Why, there's nothing to discuss as long as that traitor Ulfric is in arms against his rightful emperor. They are getting to be a problem. 
But I wasn't sent to Skyrim to fight dragons. My job is to quell this rebellion, and I intend to do just that. Dragons or no dragons. Uh, you may have a point. It's getting difficult to even move troops around without attracting a dragon attack. By all accounts, the Stormcloaks are suffering just as badly. Even Ulfric might see the sense of a truce under these conditions. Yes, yes, fine, I'll come to this Greybeard Council. For all the good it will do. Valgroof refuses the Legion's right to garrison troops in his city. On the other hand, he also refuses to acknowledge Ulfric's claim. <laughs> we gotta go back up to Greybeard again. The Greybeards have called a peace council at High Rothgar. And can you believe it? Both Ulfric, Stormcloak, and General Tullius have agreed to go. <laughs> How the heck do you know? He just agreed just a few seconds ago. Proud spire man. Were you listening in on us? Up for sale too. If you're interested, talk to the steward. And the key. <laughs> What's up with you these cars? They know I have the Azura star. They know I, I was involved with the East Empire uh, company stuff. And they immediately knew that I uh, had uh, popped Tullius into going up to see the Cravens. Hey, that's the Jarl! What's the Jarl doing outside of the castle? It's a fine day with you around. Oh, yes, it's. <laughs> I didn't expect you to see Be that. well. Pray for solitude. Thanks again for helping reopen the East Empire. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? The guards, uh. Ulfric's guards know and, uh. I have little patience for mundane concerns. Now who's telling me this? That was a Lydia. Oh. <laughs> I have so very many ways to deal with people. Very few of them pleasant. <laughs> Everybody's in such an attitude. Everybody's gangster and still into all this. Each home for an assessment. Anyway, yeah, Crowdspire is out for sale, so I wanted to get this. Splendid. There's a house available right now. Wonderful. Here is the key to your new home. I won't forget what you've done for Solitude. Stop it, both of you. You're acting like children. What? <laughs> What's the matter with this lady? We're acting like I just wanted to buy a house, that's all. Did you say something? Fame Bryling, at your service. Okay, Surely thank you. <laughs> I think there's something in the mead. Everybody's acting is strange. Okay, anyway. Yeah, so Proud Spire is the oh, home for beautiful house. At least from the outside. <laughs> so do they know that I bought Proud Spire too? Okay, anyway, I wanna get a mod for that one as well. But I'll have to take a look around. So I'll do it some you other time. Gosh, it's pretty here. Okay, I think that's it. Okay, so we'll continue on with more and probably hey, the next one. Hey, Papa says I won't see Rob here anymore, but he wouldn't tell me why not. Yeah, I don't think he want to know. Uh, anyway, so uh, I'll quit here. Uh, we can continue with this uh, whole uh, graveyard thing in the next episode and. Uh, put on some more mods at that time but uh, thank you very much we'll continue with our mod adventure and uh, see how far we can go but in any case uh, until the next episode happy adventuring and as always John is there.